Welcome to the tutorial for the shopping cart website that you can get with Awesome DIY Websites for free. When you first get your link, you simply need to go to the creation tool area and select shopping cart website as opposed to a normal website. Just proceed as you normally would with the process and as you move through the categories, uh, you will be asked to fill in the various pieces of information. What we suggest you do is that you do not actually add the products until such time as you have been provided with your login information so that your information will be stored correctly. So as soon as you've received your login information, you'll be able to access your site and update it 24-7. In here you'll find a shopping cart section where you can add new categories and shopping cart uh, stock and control your uh, orders that have been made online. What we suggest you do is, and for starters, once you've actually created your basic website and added your pages, this is the process to follow in order to add a category. Go to add a page and select where it is that you wish to locate your shopping cart section. In this case we've got a website that has a menu that is located on the top and on the left and we're going to add this to the left. We suggest that you put the shopping cart on the main menu as an overall heading and for this instance we're going to say shop online and we're going to give the page title the same name shop online you can add your keywords as you choose in this case we're going to say it's a content management area so this is an overview page and we hit submit okay as soon as you have done that um, now add a sub menu or your sub sub menus underneath that what you'll do is when you click the sub menu you'll find that your shop online section has now been added and say you want to sell tops so we're now going to go tops and the page will be tops okay in this case we now actually want to add a shopping cart so you click the shopping cart radio button and you hit submit if you wish to add another one underneath there simply follow the same process you'll click sub menu under there you'll see shop online and now maybe we want to add trousers so trousers is our, the name of our subcategory and we want to make it a shopping cart. Click on this radio button and hit submit. Okay, at any time you wish to preview the site, click on the preview site button. You'll see now that we have now got shop online with tops and trousers. Nothing at this moment will appear in these subcategories because we have not yet added any products. Now let's go to manage stock. Okay, we've now got tops and trousers in here and we now want to insert our products. Please make sure that you select this uh, top category that you want to add your product to. Add ladies top or whatever you wish to want to have in there. Ladies top, um, maybe evening top. Lovely evening uh, top for ladies, for ladies. Okay, your product ID, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the thumbnail image. We suggest that you make this in your Photoshop um, or paint.net that we've given you for free, and that is 141 pixels by 117. If you're not sure how to create that, please look at the video on how to create a logo because the process is exactly the same, um, and you can do this in Photoshop and in paint.net. So in this case, we want a thumbnail of our image. We haven't actually provided specific um, pictures of images but this gives you an idea the larger images are 600 by 600 pixels wide so you can go and add this and create these pictures as you like if you want to add more um, uh, large images simply uh, go to the section here add more images upload image and we'll even click another one there you'll see that these are now listed here but anytime you want to delete these click this little box um, uh, little X on the left hand side here mention the size of the product so say it's size 14 for the ladies and the price is $29.95 um, if you want it discounted it might be that it's $19.95 Please don't put any currencies in here. We'll show you how to determine the price of your website for um, in your global settings area. You can add the weight if you so desire, the number that you have in stock, let's say two, 
And the threshold level is when we will notify you, or the system will notify you by email, as soon as that amount has been purchased online. So if somebody buys one and you have one left in stock, you will then receive an email that tells you how much um, that you now need to go and restock this image. You can add specific terms and conditions to this item. Uh, not, no returns if worn. Okay, and now you hit update. The system will now store the information. You can now go and insert uh, another product if you so desire. Um, it might be that we have tops again and this will be uh, green green ladies, uh, ladies top and uh, lovely day wear item. Okay, uh, I beg your pardon, we jumped ahead of ourselves there. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine can be the product number. Uh, we'll have another thumbnail at the correct sizes. Um, again, just add whatever way that you want the images to display when they get enlarged. And we can then say the size is a size 16. <clears throat> this is a $39.95 and is discounted to $29.95 with a threshold, oh, sorry I beg your pardon, <laughs> product price. Product price is <clears throat> $39.95 and the discount is $29.95. Don't have to put a discount price in. Current inventory is 4 and we want to be notified once that reaches 2. Uh, no returns if torn. <laughs> and now we hit update. Okay. Right. Now in order to go and um, um, specify the kind of currencies that you want. Go to Layout and set your overall website currency. Click here and determine what you want it to show in. In this case we'd like to have it show in New Zealand dollars. If you don't update this it will show in US dollars for the whole site. Okay, please note that all shipping terms, packing and handling fees are not included. The clients will receive um, the, web, uh, the email order uh, without all of this added. It is sim simply an email order that comes to you and the clients have to um, get it online. So let's hit F5 here. So here's what the card will actually show like now to the clients on the front end. So here we go. We can now click on the item. And in the cart you will see that uh, they can uh, now flick through the specific images if they want to uh, have it enlarged, they simply click on it and they can tick the terms and conditions and the quantity that they actually want. As soon as the quantity is um, reached its threshold, uh, you will get an email. As soon as it's out of stock, this item will drop from um, offline. person can add it to their cart uh, and they can proceed to checkout. They can continue shopping, they can update their quantity, and they can do multiple uh, purchases with you. All their information is actually stored, uh, their first name, surname, their contact information, their email address, what their delivery instructions are, and their phone number. They have to agree to the terms and conditions in order to do the purchase with you. Once that is confirmed, it will go to your email. Now, please, this is very, very important. It is absolutely critical that when you go in here and you set up a cart, that you go to your profile area and enter your information or your contact information, uh, both postal and uh, physical address, please, with your emails and um, especially your your email that you have. Uh, the reason for this is if you do not do that, the email orders will not reach you. You must have that and it is critical as well to have it uh, that you put in your information here so that the clients will have access to giving you a call if there's any pro problems or delays that they may have with their orders or if they've got any queries. This way this information will automatically feed into the email order. You will definitely get um, um, a, an email CC to you as the client comes through. There will be an order number that will be assigned and you will be able to go and track your orders in this particular area here. You go to shopping cart orders 
and you will be able to enter the customer name, the date range if you want to from of whatever orders were done, uh, the person's email address if you want to search on that only or their specific order number. Everything will be listed in here and you can also generate a PDF for your records so that you can find out um, and keep track of what has actually been purchased online. Um, no double orders can take place as soon as a purchase is actually made um, and you only have two in stock, you um, the site will immediately drop all products um, that have been purchased from online. So you don't have any worries there. If you want to go back and um, update your stock instead of having to re-add it, you simply go in and update your product information. Go to the specific one that you actually want to go to in any case you can always delete the information, you can remove your images um, as and when you want by hitting the little dustbin signs, you can change your prices and you can change your, your uh, inventory and threshold levels should you desire. In the case of wanting to uh, add overall terms and conditions to your site for your shopping cart, again you go to layout and you go to overall website terms and conditions and over here you can type in your T's and C's and um, uh, simply hit update at the end of it and this too will also be added. Um, that now into, uh, ends our tutorial on how to add a shopping cart to your free awesome DIY website. Thank you for joining us today.